Welcome and here's a tutorial on how to use tiles for an interactive game with your students. First of all, go to your gallery folder in your notebook, type in the word tiles and you'll notice that you will come up with uh, some different colors. Choose the color of your choice, Just drag it onto your work area. Once it loads, we can begin editing by pressing the edit button. And here you'll want to add your text of what your objects might be. So click over to text and click the box so that it allows you to type. And let's say we were just doing animals because we wanted our students to know the words of animals and then the pictures that go with those words. So we'll go cat, dog, chicken, and cow. From there, we want to add the pictures so that when students click on the words, the pictures will show up. So we'll then go to the objects button. And here we can either uh, type in um, dog or whatever your picture is, find it in the gallery. And so let's say I want to drag that dog into the, um, the section where the dogs are, or the, the text where the dog label is and you can see that it shows up there we don't want it to show up uh, with the word so we click on the picture and either from your drop down menu or right by right clicking you can send it to the back so that it doesn't show up now when the text is there so we'll go and do that for all of our pictures now let's say we want to take a picture from the internet and here i have a cat from the internet this is where your capture tool comes in very handy. So I'm going to click on my capture tool, which is the camera button right up here. And I'm going to select the section where the cat is. And by dragging and left clicking on my mouse, I just scroll across the cat. Once I let go, it takes that picture of the cat and then puts it on the screen. So I'll just get rid of the internet. Now I will resize the cat so that it fits in the box. But again, if I don't send that to the back, I notice it still shows up with the words. So I have to go back and then order that cat so that it doesn't show up, only, or it only shows up when we start playing the interactive game. So I'm going to order it and send it to the back. Now if I just... Uh, don't continue with the cow and the chicken and I just want to see what it looks like I'll press OK and notice that the tiles are showing with the words but not the picture so now when the kids click on the, the tile there's the cat there's the dog right now we haven't done the chicken or the cow so again this is just a tool for you to use in your classrooms and again with your pedagogy and what you have for ideas this tile interactive activity can be very useful in your classroom.